6th fret. Then you're going to put your um, middle finger on the B string on the 6th fret. On the 7th fret, you're going to have your 3rd finger on the D string, pinky on the G string. And your thumb is going to hit that, and these three fingers are going to hit the other three strings. And you're not hitting this A string at all. I kind of just mute it with the like, back of this finger. So we got... It. Next chord is going to be index on the 5th fret. And you're going to have your middle finger on the 5th fret as well. On the D string. And then these will go on the G and B of the 6th fret. The same thing. So we got... A slower transition for you. Next chord is going to be your index finger is going to be on this third fret on the D string. You're going to stretch this middle finger over to the fifth fret on the A string, and then your ring finger and pinky will go on the G and B. So now you're gonna have your thumb on the A and your others down here. Ooh. So we got. And you could just like bar this with your index finger if you can't really make that stretch as good. And then the last chord will be bar this whole third fret with your index finger. And your ring finger is going to come on the 5th fret, A string. Your um, middle finger on the G string, 4th fret. Your pinky on the B string, 5th fret. So we got... See, it'll be hard to get the um, chord changes first, but you just keep doing it really, really slow. I know it seems like fucking impossible at first, but you just keep practicing doing it as slow as possible. Stupid thing back in. Ugh. <laughs> 